Hi Scorpios, welcome back to I Enigma. This is Enigma. Let us do your bonus reads for the month of August. What's happening around you? This is going to be a general reading. So take what resonates and you what doesn't resonate. For more personal, reach out to me on WhatsApp, Instagram, and email. I'll also do my favorite spells for highest gay. We have Energized Pure Intention Charge Crystals. Limited edition available. If you want to grab your hands on this uh on your favorite crystals, reach out to me and check out more on my Instagram and follow my Instagram for more stuff. Uh, especially free predictions for the month of August in short. And like, share, comment, and subscribe to this channel, Scorpio, for more videos on your sign. You guys can also check out my Scorpio channel, that is I Enigma Scorpio, okay, where I do regular Scorpio reads. This is also for Mercury and Scorpio or cross watchers. If you want to be a part of my Saint Expedite workshop that's coming up real soon, how to learn manifestation, the quickest and easiest way that I have been using since a year, you can be a part of this workshop. Reach out to me for more details. Now let's see Scorpio. What is happening around you? This is going to be the bonus, okay? My gosh. The moon and the ace of swords. Someone is definitely feeling jealous of you. Someone is definitely keeping a close eye on you and is wondering about, oh my God, the Scorpio, why is the Scorpio blessed? Why am I not so blessed? Like there's someone that is definitely uh, poking in your personal life, interfering in your personal life, in your business. This could be a cancer, but there is someone that's literally thinking about you. All right. Now let's see whether this is in a more positive note or on a, on a more negative note see yes this is on a more negative note i feel there's someone that is at your workplace maybe this could be a friend this could not be a love interest i'm sensing this is someone that you are working with in some form of shape and this person is trying to figure out what your lifestyle is all about what you're doing like they have been thinking about what you do and this person has been saying negative things behind your back. So maybe you can sense that there might be jealousy over here. There might not be positive emotions towards you. There may be jealousy. There may be gossip. There may, there may be uh, talking about negative things behind your back. You might feel it. You might sense it. But they won't say it in front of you, right? So this is someone that acts like a good uh, pal or... A person that you're just normally talking to but deep inside there is extreme jealousy there's jealousy surrounding your work i'm sensing all right wow i'm also seeing one more thing if it's a lover if it's a love interest that you are thinking about maybe in it my it is the person that i'm thinking about that's my love interest i'm sensing they're jealous because there is a feeling that they think that they cannot have you Maybe earlier when they didn't know much about you, they, th they thought that they can flirt with you, they can talk to you and grow things with you. But later on with time when they came to know about your position, maybe you're at a high position, maybe you do the kind of a work that uh, sets your standards higher. So I feel like here they think that it's going to become more competition uh, to achieve you, to have you in their life. You're not in their league, you're above that. So they may want to be with you. They see you as a marriage material. They see you as a dream come true. But what is coming between you and them is the status uh, or work, okay, or a position. Like you may have a better, higher position than them. So there is definitely someone around Scorpio that really is, uh, you know, late night checking your Instagram, your stories, your Facebook or other applications you might be on. And trying to figure out what you do or is trying to you know um, uh, check on your friends like what is your friend circle like or checking on your uh, social media about your private life like what do you do what is your position how do you deal with things a lot of things I feel this person is thinking a lot they do have emotions but what is coming between you and them is that you're better than them and that is not making them feel uh comfortable they're not comfortable with this feeling okay because at one point of time they thought that they can have you but now they have a clear idea that 
they have to pretend to have you and they don't want to do that okay so the ten of cups energy is like they have this intention of being with you they had this intention of wanting to date things take things forward but somehow now it's over now it's become totally professional the connection has become um cold distant like they want to stay away from you in order to not um uh, lower their own self-esteem in your presence and that is why you might see this person's behavior completely changing they're detaching themselves from you okay there has been a certain realization that you are everybody's dream come true like they have this feeling like you're the person that they can feel a very secure beautiful family life with and because they can't have you that sudden realization has made them distant and trying to control it there's someone definitely trying to hide their feelings from you control their feelings from you so they are trying to you know create this tower moment des deliberately okay they're deliberately trying to stay away from you the attraction is very strong over here there's a deep desire to get close to you to get intimate with you okay but they're hiding their feelings behind that mask of uh distance like they want to keep distance with you so that they don't lose their control and in the end of the day they'd look like a flirt they'd look like a um casanova they don't want to look like that male or female but you know what you may not be realizing this this person has been deeply missing you if you guys have not been talking from few days or months but yes there is a deep sense of you know nostalgia about the past memories they still they try to control themselves so i feel like they want to change their past because they know that you guys will never align and to in order to protect their heart they are controlling this desire to even get close to you or intimate with you or physical with you in any form okay seven of wands ten of pentacles i feel like this person is you've given this person some sort of an inspiration they've become more inspired to now not focus on love life and rather make a dream come true like they want to fulfill their dreams they want to turn their dreams into reality you have given this inspiration to this person maybe you are a manager maybe you are at a high position maybe you're a ca maybe you're a lawyer but something at a high position like whatever you do some of you are into entertainment this have given them a push to do even better in their life and now they have become extremely career focused they want to reach uh, uh, achieve heights become rich so that is what their goal has become right now and that is what their vision is so what you can see is this person walking away from you and you're realizing like what is happening right now like at one point of time we were good friends everything was just going with the flow and now suddenly the flow um you know was lost suddenly disappeared all right it's because they can't see a future with you because of their flaws not your flaws so that is why I let them go okay ten of pentacles and the ten of cups is also talking about how complete you are how complete your life is going towards or be, has become how successful you're about to be or you're going to become or you are so they can see that you may not realize this okay so you start to value your worth more you will value yourself more yes you will realize that this person is definitely not on your page so there's no point of wasting more time efforts into this so now with this person walking away from this connection or you walking away from this connection realizing that they are not wanting to put any more efforts someone new is coming and chasing you down i feel this person is someone that's pretty older like more than you okay there could be aries there's a strong sensual desire that they feel towards you there's a burning desire they want to have you you can see them chasing you real soon this is an authority figure they are even more way more successful than you you will attract someone that's way more successful this could be an aries i'm seeing this person as a high figure high level figure high ranking person uh strong personality 
very stable person, but is extremely protective towards their partner. And they have a lot of assets, like they have properties, they have a big house, they have good money, reputation, position, what else? Okay, so that's the kind of a partner that is fortunately coming towards you. They could be into astrology as well. Some of you, I feel this person knows a lot about astrology. They may be doing this as a side hustle. Could be an Aries coming in through the... All right, then we have the Seven of Swords and then we have the Death card. I feel this meeting is going to be extremely short-lived, Scorpio. You can expect someone maybe married coming towards you that is uh, trying to get closer to you, intimate with you. You might get this negative vibe from this person, but thankfully you will realize that this person is a complete mess and you will immediately cut off before anything could grow between you guys. So you also have someone like that coming towards you. Maybe this is another Scorpio coming in. The better you get, the more people you attract, right? And not everyone is worth you. This is what you will be learning, Scorpio. Right now, the message for you is to keep moving forward. It is important because you know why? You're about to experience a change in your life when it comes to your love matters. You are in this confusion, in this uh, cloudy vision that, okay, maybe this, the one that I'm seeing, maybe this is the one, maybe things can get right between us or the one that's just about to come into your life for short term, maybe that's the one. You will be opening up your perspectives. You will be opening up your uh, possibilities. You're not going to narrow down your options. You're going to broaden them rather. So what I'm seeing is in the near future, like within six days or six weeks, you can sense a lot more options popping up. Okay. A lot more potential lovers coming into your life that want to get to know you. You have someone coming towards you with um, a lot of desire, passion, okay, intensity, and emotions as well. Wow. This could be a Gemini coming in, but I'm seeing this is someone that is at your age, that is at your position, at your page. That's the person that you're about to attract. Give it like six days to six weeks time. Someone is coming. Okay, someone completely new is coming. Scorpio. They have emotions, intense emotions. And then we have King of Swords. Oh my gosh. Why do we always have this? Uh, third party popping up for Scorpio all the time. Okay. I am sensing these two people are the same. You know, the King of Swords and the King of Wands, male or female. This is someone that's going to come with an offer. They're going to make an offer to you. They will be telling you that, hey, uh, let's get together because i'm sensing there is a strong sense of attraction but you are also attracting someone that's pretty smart when it comes to trying to impress you manipulate you for them for their own you know needs like they you are becoming their need they want you so you may see that this person will do everything and anything to have you in their control in a good way though okay so you have someone like that coming in this is like a dream come true. I feel this person is very cautious. They're logical, so they don't want to take uh, any step based on their emotions. They have emotions and they have a burning desire, but they will not get physical with you until unless they decide to have you for their life because you are like that. You, you give them that feeling that their wishes come true you're their wish so they're going to be taking it slow and easy and they also want to see what you are as a person they want to get to see you like your personal life how it is soon you will be in a relationship but it's not going to happen too quickly give it time let it happen slowly that's how it will happen i'm seeing you guys will be in a relationship with the four of ones here i'm seeing strong uh physical desire for each other there's a strong intimacy between each other two of you you guys will find missing pieces in each other embrace each other 
complete each other however you want to say it but i'm definitely seeing that this is someone that is just like you they're not rushing into things they want to go slowly they want to first observe who you are and then open up their heart but i'm definitely seeing there's a possibility of love at first sight in this case whoever is watching this scorpios i'm sensing there is a need of for you to change your uh environment a bit because you're in the sick environment or you've gotten sick in the same place doing the same thing seeing the same old people there is a need for you to change some of you are tired of being at a place you don't want to live you may be looking for a uh, another house it is happening after september a lot of money coming in guys keep focusing on your work 911 is also an emergency number which means that you guys will immediately make a decision to shift or relocate okay or someone really needs good care someone in your family your father your mother anyone really needs good uh, physical care from you they want your help so definitely i feel the one that is coming to your life is going to sweep you off suddenly and you won't even realize it it's going to happen all of the things scorpio are going to happen pretty fast okay you will be in shock yes this is something that i'm getting i feel this is a respectable connection this is a spiritual bond you guys will be a power couple a lot of people will get inspiration a lot of people will know about you as a couple you guys may become famous there is a, a sign of influencing others through your you know actions through your work this is someone that is a high authority person like they have good position or they are very successful they have a lot of respect in society you might shift with this person in a new house also for some of you someone is 35 25 31 away for a sign from you Someone is definitely thinking about you and wants you to reach out to them. The one that I was telling you about, they want to create a tower moment between you and them. They created it, but they expect you to come and beg them. Somewhere a part of them really wants you to come and, you know, uh, become submissive. And I feel this is not going to happen, truly. They think that you will come, okay? You will come. The reason why they acted like this is because they want to have an upper hand. The one you need to get rid of chemistry efforts the the one that makes efforts towards you that's a clear signal that this person is a keeper okay so the universe is telling you to first of all take care of yourself do things that make you happy and meet people that make you feel good and then take care of your family that is something like an important message uh that i'm getting a signal surrender this is going to happen on its own your person will come towards you on their own you don't have to worry about this thing here okay just surrender leave it to god oracle cards these messages that you're getting from the oracle from the tarot are really helping you ease your problems or get out of the past or to know about a person or so i feel you might be taking personal reading some of you are but either ways i'm seeing this is helping you another thing that's helping you is nutrition either you are into readings or you're into diet okay you're a nutritionist you could be a reader uh this could be a life purpose or it's trying to say that the readings that you're hearing every day and the diet you're taking care of is going to help you overall heal overall and move on so take care of your diet and keep listening to the tarot only the good stuff not the negative ones all right yes there might be some financial issues in your life take good control of your money like don't overspend you might be overspending on things you might be overspending on uh, personal readings you may be overspending on eating uh you know uh junk food outside food and you later might find out that you are 
in debt. So make sure that you're balancing everything if you're having these kind of troubles, okay, financial related, finance related. Anything else, my Scorpio, please? Things are going to change. They're not the same anymore. But a good thing is hidden from you and that is going to come out in the open. That will surprise you. Let's see the signs coming in for you. Okay. We have Cancer. We have Virgo. We have Cancer again. Pisces. And we have Sagittarius. Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. These are the signs that you are going to deal with. Secrets. Someone is secretly watching you. As I was telling you, this person is very jealous. They could be a doctor. They could be a DJ. Their name could be starting from S, R, or D. Could be an Indian. Someone's from Sweden, Russia. England, Sri Lanka, Singapore. This person has a high position, I'm sensing. They could be into research. Someone's name is Darcy, Donald. Ashley, something like that. Someone is an RJ into entertainment. I feel like you like to create movies or watch movies a lot or something to do with the YouTube work. But I feel you want to come out of your comfort zone. You're just done with doing the same old thing. You're tired of doing something over and over again. Or you need to come out of your comfort zone, do something that you always wanted to do. I think there's a secret here. This is a, this is a mystery like spread for the charms. Someone really respects you. And it's going to be like coming out of nowhere. You have a secret admirer. I feel this person, the same person that is jealous of you. Be careful. I'm also seeing dollars. You might receive unexpected money from somewhere. I'm also seeing dream come true. Come out of your cage. You will be in high honor very well respected you are an elegant person sophisticated person that's how people see you and that is why this person knows they can't have you now let us see from aries to pisces what does your person think and feel aries is in two minds contemplating whether should they reach out make a move or wait Taurus is already thinking about setting a solid offer right in front of you for marriage. The Gemini is missing you if it's a past person. They could be a soulmate. Cancer wants to talk to you. They see you as a potential match and they want equal give and take. Then we have Leo. Leo is um, finding you extremely special, one of a kind, very different, unusual. You inspire them. And then we have Virgo that sees you as a marriage material. They see you as a future partner. Libra is already talking about you to their family. They want to introduce you, uh, you to their family. Scorpio wants to take it easy, take it slow and leave it to universe. But they're interested. You may need to reach out if it's another Scorpio. Sagittarius is in love here. They find you extremely good looking. They see you as someone that's very emotional. Capricorn.
I feel like the Capricorn wants to work things out with you. This could be a professional connection turning into a relationship or vice versa. Yeah. Aquarius wants to take slow steps towards you. Very interested though. Shy a little bit. Pisces. Pisces wants to make F's. I feel like the Pisces is the one that's feeling extremely uh, competitive with you because you're better than them and they know they can't have you. You're their choice, but they have to give up on you. That's something that I'm seeing, okay? So that is about it. Scorpio, I hope you've enjoyed this read. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment to this channel as well as my Scorpio channel and Hindi channel. I'll see you back again. Bye.